Hey! <laughs> Today is one of those crazy days. I have multiple pores that are drying and I don't have any space to put any more. I didn't want to mess my table up because I needed to do a little piece of artwork for somebody. There's a little girl that I heard about at a restaurant and the waitress wrote everything down on the napkin for me. But it's a nine-year-old girl that is, um, she's survived. She had some kind of a blood count cell type life-threatening illness. And in September this past year, she, uh, in 2017, I think she had a transfusion or something, transplant. I'm not sure how it all went down, but I don't know her, but this was just through a waitress that I found out about this. And I told her I was an artist and I asked if I could paint a picture. And she told me that her the little girl's name is Mia and her favorite colors are purple and red and she loves giraffes. So I've had a really super busy week and I'm getting ready for a spring festival next weekend and I'm totally nervous about that, trying to get everything together. But um, in order to save on my time because I didn't have time to do like a brand new pour painting for her and for it to dry because I wanted to get it to, their, to her this week and next week I'm going to be crazy busy getting ready. So I happen to remember, I was look. I was going to do a giraffe painting, a small giraffe painting, and I happen to remember that I had done a giraffe and it sold probably about five or six years ago. But I have a print. I have multiple prints. So I had these printed for a little school festival. And here is my little giraffe. And I thought that this giraffe was just a sweet looking, like a little young giraffe. And I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna give her this print. So I thought she'll enjoy having a print of this giraffe. But I wanted to do something because her life was spared and it has to do with blood cells. And I thought, well, then she needs a painting with cells in it. And I looked through all my paintings and I happened to have one purple one that, that had the cells. And so this is gonna become Mia's painting. So I'm gonna do her name in red because she loves red and purple. So I'm gonna do a big, thick red Mia and then she had told her sister and everybody in her family that it was a miracle. So I'm going to put the word miracle below it. And the date of her transplant that was successful was September 13th of 2017. So I'm going to put that date somewhere on here. But she had told everybody that her new name was Grace because of God's grace. And so I'm going to do her name Mia, and I'm going to do like a little heart locket, and it's going to have the name Grace on it. And somewhere I'm going to have the date of September 13th. But this is the beginning of, this was a poor painting that I cleaned off from, I, I did this poor painting probably four months ago. And I've penciled in, but you can't see it. And also, I taped off the edges because I want it to have a two inch border that has not got lettering or anything on it, and I'm not sure what I'll do with the border. But um, so I've got her name. So basically, what I'm going to do this is that writer bottle that I was talking about on another video. It has a little needle type. It's not a needle. It doesn't point. It's not hurting you, but the, it's actually just acrylic paint. It comes out through this little wire or metal gauge. So basically I'm just going to do this in an outline. 
and it doesn't have to be like perfect because I'm going to totally fill this in with paint. And I'm going to start with white because it is on a purple background and I want the red to really pop and be very clean and bright looking. This will just be the outline. This is just straight out acrylic white paint and I added a, a hint of water to it. I'm doing this so that you can see the outline of her letters. So I'm going to take some white paint. I've got just a few minutes and I've got an appointment, but I wanted to just very quickly paint in the white lettering and then that way it'll be ready for me to come back and do all my colors and highlights and things later on. So there's where I've outlined it. And I'm going to go back in and base coat the, the Mia part. Because this is on a dark purple. And it would take many, many coats of red. Because red is sometimes not um, very opaque. It's kind of on the transparent side. And it sometimes takes a lot of coverage to get red to work right. So... Having a white base coat will help make painting the letters in a little bit easier for me. It's actually just a little bit chilly outside, but I've got many paintings that are drying here in the house, and several of them have fresh coats of uh, varnish. And I didn't want a cool, damp house. I needed it nice and toasty warm to help with the drying times. So therefore, I make my house a little warmer then. So I want her name, Mia, to be kind of three-dimensional looking. And I also decided I'm going to fatten up these lines just a little bit. I couldn't find my gesso. I was looking for that because sometimes gesso makes this process go a little bit quicker because I'm just using straight out white acrylic paint but I don't want it to be thick. I could have used some tube paints but I didn't want it to be thick so that's why I chose Deco Art because they're craft paints and they work well to do multiple layers and they don't, they kind of level out, they don't um, stick out from your canvas as much. And then I'll seal it with a nice glossy finish, but the paint ends up kind of looking very flat and matte looking, so there's no shine to it at all, and that's what I want. And then I can seal it with a nice glossy coat when I'm done. I'm going to wrap this up and let this dry real well and I will come back in about an hour or so and work some magic on it. And basically I just pulled up fonts on Google and looked at the fonts and then just decided to make my own. I didn't really, this is not a particular font. I pulled up plump fonts because I wanted it to be nice and thick. So that's kind of what gave me the idea. But I wanted her name to really stand out. And her name that she named herself, you know, like I said, was Grace. And Grace was born on September the 13th in 2017 when she got her transplant or whatever it was, whatever it was that saved her life. So I've got to make sure and include Grace and that date in this picture. I'm trying to get things nice and level 
no raised areas, that kind of thing.